Okay, it's little Pinky. How's Pinky today? <laughs> now I feel that uh, nervous. <laughs> You're feeling nervous. You should be very nervous. I am a dangerous tester. A little bit. No. Just a little bit. No, it, there's nothing to be nervous about. It's a really easy flow to the test. All we're going to do is read about some different languages around the world. One of the lessons we did. And yes. uh, I'm going to score how well you read in your pronunciation. And then yes. after you read, I'm going to ask you some questions about what we read to see how much you understand and how you answer the questions. Very easy. Yes. So you just need to relax and have some fun. No problem. Just ask Donnie. <laughs> yes, thank you. All right. So you have your copy. You have your languages around the world. Uh, no, I use it. Uh, I use it online. Okay, you have it. Yeah, but you have it on a monitor. Yes. Right. I, I, uh, okay. So let's start reading then. Let's go with languages of the world. Read that first. <clears throat> Languages of the world. Yeah, there are about 7,000 different languages in the world today. Languages that are similar to each other are in groups of families. Some languages have a lot of speakers and others have very few. Many of smaller languages have no writing. So when the last speaker dies, the language dies too. Yeah, there'd be nobody to learn the language if they don't write it, if they only speak. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's read about Europe. Europe. Yeah. Europe has 240, uh, sorry, Europe has 284 different languages. One language family here is Romance languages. With Romance. 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 Language of love, yeah, romance languages. Yes, romance languages, which includes Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian. Another is Slavic languages, such as Russian, Polish, and Czech. Polish English. and Czech, yeah. Polish and Czech. Polish and Polish Czech. is to clean something, to make something shine. Polish the car, polish your nails. Polish. Polish. English is the third largest language in the world with 335 million speakers and belongs in the, uh, the many group. The pace language from France and Spain is very unusual. It doesn't belong to any language family. Basque, Basque, yeah. Not sure how they pronounce that. Okay. What about Asia? Asia. Asia has Asia had to uh thousand three hundred and three languages. Chinese had a billion speakers, more than any other language in the world. Hindi Hindi is the worst fourth language. I'm sorry. Hindi is the world's fourth la largest language, and Arabic comes fifth. Some parts of Asia has a very large number of languages. Yeah. Chinese has a billion speakers. They're not the international language, but more people speak Chinese than English. It's the number one spoken, more people. Yeah, because they have so many people. Yes. Right? yes. And number two is... Spanish is the second most spoken language in the world. And number three is English. English is the international language, but it is spoken by, it is the third most spoken language. And surprisingly, Hindi, which is the Indian 
national language, um, is number four, which I'm surprised because India has the second highest population. There are 1.2 billion people there. So they must have a lot of languages in India. And Arabic is the fifth most spoken language. All right, let's read about the Americas. Now remember, the Americas is all North and South America. That's Canada, USA, Mexico, uh, Colombia, Brazil, Argentina, Chile. All of those countries are the Americas. The USA is the United States of America. So it's a little different, but they're all Americas. All right, let's read about the Americas. That uh, Americas, this area has 1,060 languages. English and Spanish are the largest. Spanish with with 40 hundred and six million speakers is the word. 406. 406. 406. Uh, million speakers is the world's second largest language. Portuguese is spoken in Brazil and mainly English and French in Canada. There are also many other native languages. For example, for example, Mam, amazing language which people speak in parts of Mexico and uh, got uh, Yeah, just look at the pronunciation. Gua, Guata, Guatemala. Guatemala. Guatemala, yeah. That's a country right next to Mexico in the south. The Mayan temples and old ancient civilizations, thousands of years old. Their old language, ma'am. Ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Africa. Africa. Human language probably began on this continent. There are 2,146 2, languages here. Many people in Africa can speak more than one language because as, as well as their own language, they also speak English. French and or Portuguese. Portuguese, yeah, Portuguese. Portuguese. Portugal, Portugal. Okay, Australia and Ocean, Oce, Oceania. Um, this area has one thousand three hundred eleven languages in total. The main language of Australia and New Zealand is English. But there are a lot of smaller languages too. Papua New Guinea, pa Papua New Guinea uh, has only four million people, but it has a hundred thirty-two languages more than any other country. Unfortunately, some Aboriginal language languages are very small now and have only one or two speakers. Yeah, that's what they're talking about. In some of these languages, they don't have the written language. It's just spoken. So when those people die, a language will disappear forever. <clears throat> so I'm sure the, lots of languages over history have disappeared from, from uh, existence as well. All right, that's really good with your reading for your first, first, first test. Not too bad. So, tell me, what are the three largest languages in the world, the biggest languages in the world? What are the three biggest languages in the world? Uh, yes. What's number one? Mm -hmm. uh, the number one is uh, chi 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 Chinese. Chinese, yeah. Do you know what language they speak? There's two main languages in China. Do you know what the first one is? What do they call what do they call the Chinese language in China? Uh, mm, Mandarin. Mandarin, just like the little orange, yeah. What's the second most spoken language in China? Um uh, yes, um uh can Chinese. Cantonese. Cantonese is the second. Yeah, it's another language that's quite popular in the South, I hear. 
All right, what's number two in the world? Second most spoken language in the world. Um, yes, the number two is... Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Spanish. Spanish is number two. Yeah, because they've got, they're big in Europe, Spain, right? And then they have many, many countries in South America and Central America and Mexico. They all speak Spanish as well. So that's a lot of Spanish speakers. What's number yes. three in the world? Yes, number third is English. English is the third most spoken. That is correct. Do you remember what number four is? Number four is Hindi. Where is Hindi? Where do they speak Hindi? India. India. What's the fifth? The fifth is um, Arabic. 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 That's correct. Which continent, not country, which continent? has the most languages? Uh, yes, uh, America. <laughs> uh, 1,060 languages. Asia. In Asia. Asia. Yeah, 2,303 languages. Yes. What language family what family does Polish belong to? Polish mm, comes yeah. from what background? What language family? Uh, yes, uh, English. Wait, 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 me. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Not wait, 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 me. Wait me uh, five seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Bah. Um, Europe. That's what continent is spoken, or that uh, that Poland. Poland is in Europe, and Polish is spoken in Poland. But I'm asking, what family does it come from? The Romance family. What's the history of the language? What family does it come from? This is come from uh, uh, Romance languages, which include Spanish, Portuguese, and uh, Italian. Yeah, so those languages belong to the Romance family. English belongs to Germanic family. What does yes. Poland, Polish, what family does it belong to? Can, can, you, can you say that again? What family does Polish belong to? Uh, yes. Mm. Mm, I think mm, mm, um, mm, romance. No. Romance. No. Uh, Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian belong to the Romance language. It means they all started the same origins from the same people as they divided up over the thousands of years. No. And uh, English is part of the Germanic language. Um, the Slavic language, Russian, Polish, and Czech. They're different languages today, but they, their background, they come from the Slavic family, language family. Slavic. Yeah, so it's, they're, they're similar in some ways. Right? Uh, yes, yes. It's just like English, you know, there's a lot of um, Latin, Roman, Greek, Greek, Latin languages, a lot of connections in there. Um, there's a lot of French influence with English as well, right? So that every language started somewhere. And then as people moved on over thousands of years, the language has changed, right? You know, even in Vietnam, there's, I don't know how many, but there's like 30 or 40 different languages spoken inside Vietnam. Right, because I know when we moved here with Miss Lei from Quan Ming, uh, she had a hard time understanding some of the Vietnamese in Da Nang. She had to get used to some of the words; they're different, right? So, but still Vietnamese, but they they 
they say it differently, they have different accents, right? So that's what they're saying. So where did it come from? Yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. What is special about the Basque language? Basque, Basque language. What's special about that? What's different? Can, can you say that again, please? Question number four. What is special about the Basque language? Basque language. Yeah, and I don't know if that's the correct spelling for that or not. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Uh, it's not from the Slavic family. It's its own family, right? That's where uh, French and Spanish come from. Yes. Um, it doesn't belong to any language family. Yeah, it doesn't belong. It's very unusual. It doesn't belong to any language family. But this is kind of confusing, doesn't it? It says the Romance language includes Spanish and Portuguese. But... Spanish is also a Basque language. Hmm, I got to do some research on that. Okay. Let's go to the next question here. What are the main languages in Canada? Yes. And There's two national languages. Yes. Uh, English and French. English and French. Yeah, especially Quebec. Very French there. Where do people speak ma'am? <laughs> Uh, um, yes. man. Up in parts of Mexico and Guatemala. Gua? What is it? Gua? What? Gua. What's the name of that country? Mexico and parts of Mexico and and then and then. And then. GUA, what is that country? Yes, um, Guatemala. Guatemala, yeah. Guatemala. Guatemala. Small little country down there in the south, yeah. All right, I think we're done. Oh, no, no, no. Which country has the largest number of languages? Which country? Not continent. Yes, I think. Um, what country? Oh, New New Guinea, uh, Papua New Guinea. Yeah, Papua New Guinea. Where is Papua New Guinea? In uh, Australia and Oceania. Yeah, it's right. It's connected to Indonesia and above Australia. That's right. And yeah, probably part of Oceania. Yeah. All right. Good job. You did good. You did good. You beat Tom. Yes. You beat Tom. <laughs> I am, I am Tom. You, you are higher than Tom. <laughs> I'm higher than Tom. Yeah, you scored higher than Tom. All right, I'm going to edit the videos and you'll get your test report and your, your video sometime next week or next weekend. But you did good. No worries. Next week, we'll see you in Interest 18. Yes, thank you so much. Goodbye. All right. Good night. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas too. <laughs> bye bye, Biggie. Yes, bye bye.